Hey, what's good YouTube? This is Brandon. Welcome back to my channel. Do you struggle making cornbread dressing? If so, I got you. I'm going to have people asking, who made this dressing? Instead of, who made this dressing? Hear the difference? That's the difference between excitement and disappointment. Stick around and I'll show you how. All right, y'all. What we're going to use today, we have one whole small green pepper, two sticks of celery, one whole small onion, a can of cream of chicken, a can of cream of celery. We've got poultry seasoning, of course sage, chicken broth, granulated onion, black pepper, granulated garlic, of course salt, the star of the show cornbread, and I like to use two bags of like uh, this cornbread mix or stove top, you can use the cheap stuff, just the cornbread flavor with the sage. Uh, that's all it takes, let's get into it. All right, y'all, the first order of business is we're gonna put the green peppers and the celery in, into the pot and saute them. Now I like to start these about five minutes before I put the onions in because it takes a little longer for that celery and that green onion to soften up than those onions. So I always start these first, start these a little earlier. Add a little salt to help. We're breaking it down and the season it. And we're like I said, we're just gonna let that go for five minutes before we add our onions. All right, we've had it going for five minutes. Now we're gonna add our onion. Let that go. Now, when I was giving you guys the ingredients, I forgot one of the most important ingredients in my estimation and that's chicken I've got two breasts from a rotisserie chicken that we bought from a Sam's Club that we're going to add in there I love chicken or turkey or, uh, in my dressing and if you have some leftover chicken or whatever go ahead and use it and that's what we're doing today so I forgot to mention that but we, I do have two breasts from a rotisserie chicken that I just diced and shredded a little bit that we're going to add as well. Alright guys, so we're going to let this go and let's let this saute a little bit and I'll bring you back in when it's ready for the next step. Y'all be back. Now here's what I like to do. I like to take a teaspoon of the sage and add it to my trinity. Then I take a teaspoon of a poultry season. Add that to the chicken. I'll take that chicken and I'll put it over in here just to get it a little warm. Then I'll take a whole container of chicken broth and I'll add that to the pot as well. And I'll just let that simmer for maybe five minutes or so just to get all those flavors incorporated into this broth. That way when you mix everything, you'll already have that sage and that poultry season flavor and the liquid which makes it easier for me to incorporate. Mix it up. Turn the heat up to medium high. Bring it to a boil. Then we're gonna turn it off. Then we're gonna be ready to make this dressing. All right, y'all, you see we've got it up to a boil. It's been rolling like this for the past five minutes. Now we're just gonna turn it off. We're gonna move over to our bowl and start making this dressing. All right, guys, so what I've done, I've emptied out the two packs of the uh, cornbread uh, stuffing or whatever into our bowl. Now we're gonna add the cornbread. Now, this is actually just some old jiffy that we, we don't use or whatever. You can just save it, freeze it. That way, when you get ready to make cornbread dressing or whatever, you have cornbread. Or you can make fresh cornbread. It's totally up to you. Go ahead and use it all. You just take it and 
break it up. And I like to just mix it with my hands and incorporating it with that uh, stuffing mix we had, that cornbread stuffing mix. Now, from here, I'll take another half a teaspoon of sage. Mix that in there. And another half a teaspoon of poultry season. seasonings. A little bit of granulated onion, black pepper. Now what you're going to do, you're going to season this to taste because you will taste it. That's one of the keys to making good dressing in my opinion. A little salt. There's two things you must do. One, keep it simple. And two, taste it. Your dressing will taste just like dressing before you even bake it. Just the flavors, you'll know it exactly what you're going to get. So you want to make sure you taste it. Mix it up. Now we're going to take that broth we made and just dump that on in there. Along with those peppers, onions, and that chicken. Oftentimes, people make the mistake of either doing one or two things with their make their dressing. They're either super, super dry or overly wet. Just take your time when you make it and adjust accordingly. Now, you can see this is clearly uh, not moist enough. It's crumbly in here. And that's where this uh, our cream of mushroom soup and our cream of chicken soup comes in. It helps with keeping it moist and as well as adding flavor. So we're gonna add that can of cream of chicken. Then the can of cream of celery, not mushroom, but celery. And let's mix that on up real good. Now I do have another box of uh, broth in reserve just in case we need more mixture uh, liquid which is possible notice one a couple things you didn't see in this particular recipe you're not gonna see any hard-boiled eggs you're not gonna see any chicken livers or gizzards I don't like all that stuff in my dressing I like I said to keep it simple and I have it taste good all I need is my Trinity, have it seasoned right, and some chicken or turkey. Now this is this is getting close, but it's still not where we want it to be. We're gonna have to add a little more liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead on and get that other box of uh, chicken broth and add a little more liquid to that. Then we're gonna taste it to make sure our seasoning is right. So sit tight. All right, y'all. Got the other bottle of chicken broth out. We're just gonna add it a little bit at a time and stir it to make sure our consistency is right where we want it. Yeah. So you do not want that dried up cornbread dressing. You want it to be moist. You don't want it to clump up or anything like that off when it comes out the pan. It shouldn't do that. It should be nice and moist. And see, this is real close. Real close. We add a little bit more liquid. We've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. 
it's looking good already. It smells awesome. It smells just like dressing, the way it should smell. A little more liquid. And what I like to do actually is top my dressing a little bit with some of this broth before we put it in the oven. And I'll show you that step in a minute. All right, now it's definitely the consistency I want. Now it's time to taste. Wow. It's just about there, y'all. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add just a smidge more of the sage. Looking at maybe another half a teaspoon of sage. Now, remember y'all, taste your food. See if it fits your palate the way you like it. You might want it a little more salty. For me, I'm not gonna have a ton of salt. I don't want it super salty. I want it seasoned right. And I'm gonna add a little bit more black pepper. As far as the onion and garlic powder and stuff, it's perfect. I do like pepper, so I'm gonna go pretty heavy with my black pepper. And remember, there was salt in the uh, cream of chicken and cream of celery soup, so you don't have to go overly heavy with the uh, seasoning. And then we put a little seasoning in that broth we made too. That's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and transfer it into our pan. Just a minute. Okay, so we got a dish, our baking dish. I've got it buttered up real good. If you can see, I buttered up real well. Then we're gonna add our dressing to it. Let's go ahead and put it in there. So like I said, we have two bags of the uh, cornbread stuffing mix. I had about the equivalent of two boxes of Jiffy cornbread left. And this is a 13 by nine, I believe 13 by nine Pyrex dish. So you can see how much dressing that makes. And it's pretty deep, so. Perfect. I don't know if you can see how the consistency is. You can see how moist it is. And it's gonna stay like that because we put that soup in there and that soup is not gonna dry out. So it's gonna stay pretty moist like that. But I do like to add a little more liquid to the top. This is what I learned, was taught when I was younger, watching my grandmother and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now. Last thing to do is cover it. We're gonna cover it the first 45 minutes or so, then we're gonna take the foil off. But if you can see, I've buttered my foil, that way it doesn't stick to the foil. Cover it up. And now it's gonna go into a 350 degree oven. We're gonna check on it probably after the first 30 minutes, but like I say, normally 45 minutes or so covered, then we'll uncover it and let it brown up on top. Then you'll be set. So into the oven it goes. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, it's been 45 minutes since we've had it in. Just gonna check on it. Still looking good, super moist. Just what we want now, we're gonna go into the oven, uncover it. 
and let it brown up. That may take about another 30 minutes or so. Then we'll be ready to rock. So put back in the oven and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all. It's been another 30 minutes and we've got it out the oven. You can see how golden, perfectly golden brown it is. But what I want you to see is how moist it still is. Look at that. That's what you want with your dressing. Nice and moist. Steamy. That's it guys, right there. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit. I've got a uh, smoke on a pork loin roast right now to go with it. That if you wanna see how that's made, you can just uh, look at the iCard that's right above you right now. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. You best believe we're gonna do a taste test on it, but I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and then I'll finish making my roast first. Love you guys, I appreciate you. Share this video. I'm sure there's other people out there who need help making that, uh, making their dressing. They might as well start practicing now. So, love you guys, God bless you, until the next time. y'all I'm back like I promised showed you we we're gonna do a taste test when I got done with my food so you want to see what we got here's that smoked bone and pork loin that dressing this got a little spinach on the side but most definitely gonna get it some taste test mm, mm, mm. just like Thanksgiving but in the summertime now I know most people might like to put cranberry sauce or something on it, that's fine. That's traditional. Me, I'm a gravy guy, so this is to me how I take it to the next level. Add that gravy. Go in one more time. Y'all, that's perfect. Again, try this recipe. I guarantee you'll love it. It's easy, and you will definitely... Uh, be the star of the show next time. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Until the next time, y'all have a good one.